Well, this is part two of uh, more of the candid interview follow around that I did with Gary and Janet Smith. Uh, and in this part of the video, Janet's going to talk a little bit about some of the herbal remedies that I might need to have with me on the trip, or at least uh, know how to work with some of these herbs and how to make tinctures and salves, etc. So I hope you find this to be beneficial. Enjoy. What you want to do is put about this much, chickweed, about half full of chickweed, okay. and then put oil in it all the way up to here. And you can use any kind of oil you want to, except motor oil. Uh, what about coconut? Coconut works. Olive oil works. Uh, I don't like using the more processed oils, but things like that, yeah. Okay. And um, then the right way to do it, the long way to do it, is to leave it in a warm, dark spot for 30 days. And that works real well. You shake it every day or so, and sure. then at the end you've got, you, you strain the oil out. The way they say to do it is take chick, uh, um, the coffee filter. Coffee filter works. Um, cheesecloth. Cheesecloth works. Uh, Gary's gonna make me a fancy oil press, so. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's fancy. Just squeeze it out. and. Have your oil. The slow way is one month. The fast way. Find somebody that has an oven. Okay. Put it on warm. Okay. Let it sit in there about three or four hours. It'll extract. Okay. It's not perfect, it's not great, it's not the best, but it'll work. And if you're on the road that becomes practical concerns. How does, how would this do if I would um yeah, you wanted it to be a dark container to yes. protect it, right? Yes. So if I would wrap it with like a black plastic bag and just set it on top of my bike trailer in the sun, yeah, that kind of steep it, wouldn't it? Would yeah, it would. Maybe and probably it in a day or two. Yeah, you'd be you'd be good. That that would work. So I'm just trying to think with resources yeah. that we have. I have a solar um, oven that I'm going to have with me as well, okay. an inflatable solar oven. <laughs> Well, and that would work, but again, I don't know how much you want to be sitting there hours on end. You're right. And um, so, but that's, yeah, that would work. Now, just the chickweed oil is good. And you can rub it on or whatever. Uh, if you want to make a blend or, or have something that's a little more congealed, then you go to your... Uh, Candy. Back to the beeswax? Beeswax. You get yourself a grater and you grate up your beeswax and there no. you have some. And now this is good for another reason too. Smell it. Okay. You can smell the honey in it. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's got honey, it's got pollen, it's got propolis in it. All kinds of healthy things. It also is an antibacterial. Antibacterial, okay. So, I mean, obviously, if you s scraped yourself and and, sure. and sprained your knee and whatever, this will help on a, on a topic. Yes. Yes. Yes, absolutely. So, that if scary. that's if if that's in your cream, that's a good thing. This will help a lot with thing with heat rash. It also helps with psoriasis if you have that problem. Don't. But. Yeah. It also helps with bug itches. Okay. And I know I'm going to run into that. You're going to run into that. Um, any kind of rash, even poison ivy rash, it will help with the itch. Uh, so that that will help you. That sounds like something I really need to do before I leave. Yeah. And go ahead and throw some arnica in there, too. Because okay. <coughs> the arnica and the chickweed will, well, no, not the chickweed there. Well, yeah, the chickweed and the arnica. Will work because this is chickweed is more dealing with cuts and bruises, and the arnica would be inflammation and bruising. Yeah, exactly. And, and joint. Yep. So that will help you a lot. That's. And this will help you a lot with the. The tooth. The, the tooth, and 
if I had an infected sore anywhere, use it. I'd use it. Tincture would be the way I'd go with that. You know how to do that for a topical, topical tincture? Alcohol, right? Just get rubbing alcohol. Yeah. Uh, as long as you're not drinking it. If you're planning on drinking it, stop by an ABC store and get yourself a little. You can take the vodka. <laughs> you know what I use? I use Everclear and use okay. it 50 50. Everclear is expensive, but it's cheaper than vodka if you're using it 50 50. Okay. Uh, when you say 50 50, buy in water? Yeah. Okay. okay. Now, everybody says distilled water. I have never used distilled water. Okay. But then I've got well water. Yeah, you can trust it. Yeah. Yeah. And in, in my case, um, I've got a, a water filter. If I run out of water, I can just slurp it up out of the creek and use that. You've got a filtration. You've yeah. got, that'll work. That'll work. Uh, it's not distilled, but it's good. Well, that's it for most of my interview and time with Janet Smith, at the lovely Janet. Uh, she does have a store that she's opening up. I'll put a link below in the description to a video. Also a link below to her Facebook page. So if you found the information that she's sharing here helpful, uh, please follow along on social media. And also share this video with anybody that you might uh, know could benefit from the knowledge that's within it. Um, and let me know if you'd like me to go back there at some point and pick their brain a little bit more if you have questions based on what you've seen in this video. So stay tuned. More to come soon. God bless.